you're a bull? I see your horsey back there. I see boots. He's got on his thankful little dude shirt. We're starting Thanksgiving break this weekend. Are you a thankful little dude? He's a bull right now. Are you a nice bull or a mean bull? Ooh, he's a mean one. Oh no, here he comes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, and I just got finished cleaning up the kitchen from breakfast. Mainly playing with the little pumpkin wagon back there. So yeah, I said I finished cleaning the kitchen up from breakfast, but I forgot about the little coffee area over here because some coffee spilled in the bottom. <laughs> We don't really have any plans this evening, I don't think. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for supper. So yeah, what happened over here was, um, I forgot to put my cup over here. <laughs> I was just in a hurry. And so when I was cleaning up, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee because I was gonna make iced coffee. And so I was just gonna go ahead and make it and let it be cooling down over here. And yeah, I just quickly pressed the button with no cup underneath. So now we have a mess over here. At least this caught most of it. So, the man who we usually get our Christmas tree from, he hasn't come and set up this year, so I don't know if they're going to be coming. They're, they live like, I think they live a couple states away, but they just bring their camper and they bring a load of Christmas trees and set up and sell them until the trees are gone, I think. I don't think they bring in more. I think they just sell them until they sell them out. But he's not there yet this year, and he's usually set up by now, so he may not be going to come down here this time. So Titus said we might go to a Christmas tree farm, and I don't know if you get to cut your tree down or if they cut it down for you, but you get to go out there and, you know, pick the tree. They're grown just for Christmas trees, you know. It's a Christmas tree farm. I was like, do they have hot cocoa and all that jazz like you see on Hallmark movies? And he was like, um, I don't know, but they have Christmas trees. <laughs> steakhouse soup so I think I have everything over here that he said he's gonna be using beef broth we have two cartons of that heavy whipping cream fire roasted rotel basil Worcestershire sauce steaks we have two packs of steaks there and he's getting all the vegetables ready over here grit uh, grit I just made up a new pepper green and red bell pepper carrots Red onions and some of these baby red and golden potatoes. Zesty herb. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of that, and I'm not gonna overdo. Zesty herb. Don't overdo the zesty herb. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna put a little. Uh, I'm gonna swing a little bit of change on you, right Swinging there. some change. We're gonna yeah. grill. So it's gonna I'm, be grilled yeah. steakhouse soup. That's getting to me just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grill. <laughs> Out Remember, he told y'all how to cut onions. It, just close, close your eyes. Close your eyeballs if you know how to use a knife well. If you don't, <laughs> make sure you get a butter. He's knife. joking, y'all. Don't do that. Don't try that out. <laughs> what I'm thinking we're gonna do here is go butter first. I'm also gonna get a little olive oil right here. All right, we feel that getting hot. Just be on the safe side, Paula. On one hand, got a little more. See, I taught Paula everything she knows. That's the reason she- he talks to Paula Dean while he's cooking. That's the reason she uses all that butter. This thing's getting pretty hot. Let's go ahead and pop that butter in there. Watch that thing dance around. Got my salt and pepper ready here. Oh, olive oil, gonna help us out. That's a little bit of olive oil, yeah. There it is, let that get good and warm. We want that to be good and warm. Oh yeah, there we go. Wash your hands. Let's cook some steakhouse soup. Go ahead and salt and pepper that bad boy. This is smelling delicious. 
I got anything I can stick on top of this, mama? And what you might want to do is use a universal lid right here. You're like, well, what if you ain't got a universal lid, Titus? One that big. Let me show you. Right there. That thing's good for cooking chocolate chip cookies, cooking bacon in the oven if you want to do it that way. There's so much this thing can do, but it also is a universal lid if need be. What do you do if you need to let it breathe a little bit? Right there. But we're going to keep that stirred, and we're going to also make sure we keep a good close eye on that. But it's, that's going to help that do the deal, and that's what we're trying to do is do the deal. I'm fixing to go ahead and start on these things. Now, as this is simmering from time to time, you might want to come and put just a little bit of something in here. We're using beef broth. We're going to go ahead and put our taters in. Probably should have done did that. But we ain't going to worry too much about, you know, this is this is it right here. This is, yeah. And then what am I going to do? Put my universal pan back over top of that joker. Pop my spoon on top of that like I know what I'm doing. What's happening is some seriously good. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure enough, good cornbread. I'm rolling the peppers a little bit to break up the seeds so that they'll just fall right out. We also have these sweet Hawaiian rolls for anybody who doesn't want the spicy cornbread muffins. Okay, now you'll notice I cooked the steak. It's about rare, really. So we definitely kept in consideration. Well, that we're gonna cook the rest of it in the in the soup. Just take your steak and get it all cut up how you want it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get our pot. All we need to do now is start putting all this stuff together and let it do the deal. Gently putting our taters and vegetables inside. I thought it'd be a good idea just to leave them taters kind of whole and not do much with them, but just cook them down. I think I was right on that deal. I've been wrong more than I've been right, but on this one, I think I was right. Notice the relaxing sounds I'm giving you. One more thing before we put the steak in. I'm going to crack open this rotel and put a little, about a half a can of this rotel inside. Now, stir it around. Okay, now that we got our meat in, we're going to start stirring it around and getting everything mixed up, and then we're going to just let it do what soup does. And we might change the name of this from soup to stew. <laughs> now what we're going to do is crank the heat here and let that meat cook all the way through. I see trees on your shirt. 
There's trees on your jammies. You see them? Look. Ooh. Look at the tree, right? It's right there on your belly. <laughs> right on your belly. <laughs> All right, so the kitchen is clean. Supper was very good. We had some left over and everybody was calling dibs on having it for lunch tomorrow. So I'm about to switch out laundry, get people ready for bed, and continue my holiday planning because I just barely started it the other night. And I'm probably gonna watch Hallmark Christmas movie while I do it. Still have not watched very many at all this year. Not many at all. I have them recorded though. I'll probably be watching Christmas movies on into like February. Deep in the jungle, early in the morning, the sloth was fast asleep. Good night. But the rest of the animals were awake. Where's the sloth? Sloth. Where is he? There he is. 